एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Yeah, he batted really well as well with Usman at the start there. But um, you know, for Finchy, I thought he you know he played beautiful innings today. Um, you, you see how you know effective he is. Once he gets going, the field goes back. The bowlers start um, trying to you know try Plan B, and um, he's one of those batsmen that I know bowling domestic cricket against him, you, you do feel under pressure if he's firing. So um, good to see him. He's such a class player. He's um, you know his record's great, no doubt cricket. So runs were always going to come around the corner. Um, yeah, good innings today. I'm sure he'll, um, he'll keep cashing in. That went well. Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, I think a lot of those things. Um, you know, bowling a team out. Um, is good, you know. I thought the way um, Zampa came back, um, you know, got two big wickets. I thought, you know, that was a great sign. Nathan Lyon hadn't played a lot of one-day cricket lately to come straight back in, and um, I thought, you know, it's, it's quite different to Test cricket. He seemed to be firing him in there, and, and um, you know, kept the, the scoreboard quite tight. So, you know, another great positive, and for the batters, um, you know, Uzi another good start. Um, Finchy getting a go, but yeah, that middle order, I thought. Um, in the, in the past couple of years, we've talked a lot about the middle overs and overs and ticking over the run rate, and uh, it's not an easy wicket out there to play spin. And um, I thought the way come, some of the guys came in and yeah, just turned over the strike was great. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's someone that just looks in complete command of um, of his game at the moment. Um, you know, a wicket like that, it's it's kind of a you know, it's it's tough to bowl and it's tough to bat on. It's if you bowl well, you feel like you can restrict the batter, but um, you know, Nick's behind, getting the ball swinging around, it isn't really an option. So you kind of feel a little bit ha hamstrung in that kind of regard. But he, he batted beautifully. He didn't give any chances. He looks like he's got you know so much time. Um, if someone bowls well, he's happy to, to wait on them and cash in later. He, he doesn't miss out on too many bad balls. Um, yeah, really, really good innings. That, that was the difference today. Jack, uh, Paddy, man, it's just a couple of such narrow losses. Um, what do you put down to? Is it just sort of because it's still a new unit, a lack of inexperience and not winning the crucial sort of uh, points? Is that put it down to? <laughs> well, it's hard to say. Um, you know, I think. In the T20s, it's a different game, but we had two really good wins in um, in close, you know, circumstances. Here, it's um, you, know, you could probably say someone like Dhoni, um, you know, the way he commanded um, and showed his experience in the first game, and someone like Virat here, um, you know, proved to be the difference. So, now I think we got match winners in the side. It's it's maybe um, yeah, games like today, trying to learn off those guys that won it for the other teams and and try and do it, but. Um, I think it's one of those things when you when you're you know one of the best sides in the world you, you do finish those close ones so it is a bit of a habit um, you know hopefully win a win a couple of them and we'll be away. I haven't spoken to any of them um, so I don't know but yeah I mean every loss um, after a game you, everyone's always hurting and you always look back at a couple of balls you could have bowled differently or you know how you got out. Could you have done something different? So yeah, we're all hurting, but no, I thought someone like Stoney, um, you know, he gave himself the best chance to win the game. Innings, Petey and um, you know Alex played. If they didn't play, then we the game probably would have been over ten overs earlier. So I think there's you know there's lots of good things that um, you know the guys can take out of today. It's always really disappointing to lose, but um, you know not to all loss. There's still three games to go. Sort of things are reasonably positive. I suppose a year ago you went in that series with the England. The guy sort of got handed in a lot of those games. Whereas here it's you know, again a really good team and they're quite close. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think you know same with the, the series against them over in Australia and here we're taking every single game really deep. Um, it, it comes down to a couple of overs and a couple of key moments, which are the difference between you know winning and losing. And uh, that's all you can do. Try and put yourself in those positions. So. 
I think the more you're in it, the more you get used to it and, and kind of work out how you could have done something better. But, um, you know, the feeling in the group's great. I feel like, you know, every time we walk on the field, we're a real shot of, you know, winning a game, uh, no matter what the circumstances. So we've still got quite a lot of cricket before the World Cup, but, um, I, you know, honestly, I think it's, you know, in a, in a really good place at the moment. Matt, how do some of this loss, it must be hurting really? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, another close one, just like the first game that, um, yeah, just couldn't close out. Um, I thought there was you know, lots of good things we did. I thought to, to bowl them out, um, obviously, is a good thing. To get 250, um, I thought from the position they were in, that was a, a pretty good result for us. Um, and then a couple of the part partnerships were really good. But, um, yeah, just like um, likes happened a couple of times, I think we just just off the mark a little bit. Press conference, OK. That's all right. Um, yeah, when, when Marcus is there, I um, always feel like you know, we're, we're in for a chance. He's, he's been the closer for us the last couple of years. He, he's played some unbelievable knocks and um, he, he assesses the game really well. So with him out there, I thought, well, you know, a massive chance. He, I think he played it beautifully, the way that he just um, you know, counted down the balls, chose his bowlers, um, you know, to have 11 off the last over against, um, I guess, probably their fifth bowler is, um, you know, a pretty good position from where we were. So I thought he set it up beautifully. Just, um, you know, it wasn't his day um, right, that last over. Just on your own performance, it was the first time over here. The new ball, what was it like coming back to the back before the Yeah, I love bowling with the new ball. Um, I think, especially in one-day cricket, the on these kind of wickets, the ball deteriorates quite quickly. So... I love getting the you know brand new ball and, and trying to swing it around and get a bit of pace and bounce out of the wicket um, before it tends to go soft. So enjoyed that. Really happy with with how I landed um, pretty much my whole nine overs and, and fortunately got a couple um, you know wickets at, at the end there to um, to bump up the figures a bit. Did Kohli's 116 prove to be the difference between the two sides? And is it one of the best ODI innings that you probably would have seen on a difficult? Uh, we can like the one which was here. Uh, I think it, he was a difference for sure. I think um, we, we had a couple of really good partnerships. You know, Marcus got 50 odd, a couple of guys, um, you know, got, got, got really good starts, but we didn't have that one guy that got on um, on with it. And, and we knew the, you know, the longer the 50 overs went on, the harder it was going to be to score. So for them to have, you know, someone like Virat in at the end, facing lots of balls, um, he, he was probably the difference between them getting low 200s or 250. And yeah, really, really good innings. He, um, you know, chanceless, um, just, just played really good shots. Um, you know, I thought for the most part, we bowled quite well to him, but, you know, especially the way he played some of the spin, which, which I thought, you know, looked quite tough to play in that wicket was, um, was certainly the difference. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.